seven and eight is um, Dr. Zhou and Tai. Really? Okay. Seven and eight is uh, is gonna be Dr. Zhou and Billy. Okay.
Hi, good morning, everyone, and welcome to First Chinese Church of Christ in Hawaii on this fourth Sunday after Epiphany on January 29, 2023. Today, we will have a special Thanksgiving ceremony for the completion of the stained glass window renovation, the new chairs in the multi-purpose room, as well as the annual congregational meeting after our joint worship. We welcome those who are joining us in person and all those on all corners of the globe. Hwaiing 在这里首先呢我们再来欢迎一下第一次来到我们当中参加敬拜的弟兄姐妹或是朋友们如果您第一次来我们请您站起来能够简单的介绍一下自己让我们欢迎您让我们认识您有没有第一次来的这里有一位
may be seated. Hey everyone, please open your hymn book to number 60, To God Be Glory. 请起立，让我们同唱，崇拜圣师，荣耀归于真神。
be seated and before we pray I would like to say that <clears throat> like our ancestors some of you from mainland China Hong Kong Taiwan and other places have left your family for an extended period of time to earn a living here in Hawaii you leave your precious family for the time you are here uh, this morning, we ask God to provide for your precious family and friends back home while you are away working here in Hawaii. 这个时候我们也恳求天父来供应,来照顾我们在家乡的家人,亲人。Pray, pray for strong relationships as you adjust to new cultures here in Hawaii, high rents and crowded accommodation, demanding work schedules, long hours, and learning. A new language, English. 作为一个新的移民来到这里，我们也祈求啊父神啊帮助你们能够啊尽快的融入这个地方啊，不管你们现在啊多么的努力在工作。Let us pray. 让我们一起祷告。Dear Lord, as individuals start their new life here in Hawaii. Please keep their relationship strong. 亲爱的主, 当我们, 呃, 看到有很多人在夏威夷开始他们的新的生活, 我们恳求你来, 呃, we ask that you remind them that they are very special to one another, especially while they are working here hard, very hard in Hawaii. 我们恳求你, Please also protect and provide from the family and friends that they have left behind. Help them to look forward to the next time they are able to see one another. 让他们期待着能够在不久将来能够在彼此的相见. And from new immigrants now this morning, we remember our ancestors who worked hard to leave us a rich legacy 
我们在今天在这里也纪念我们的先人，他们努力的工作，留下宝贵丰富的资产给我们。We pray for spiritual strength and stamina to continue their good work as we dedicate ourselves in serving you here in Hawaii. 我们也是求你赐给我们属灵的力量，还有那个呃坚韧。能够继续他们美好的工作，在这里来侍奉你。We thank you for James Erickson and James Harvey for their skills in repairing and renovating our two stained glass windows. 我们特别感谢 James Erickson and 还有 James Harvey 啊，他们啊为我们修复的这一个啊彩色的玻璃窗。We also thank you. For the forty new chairs that you have provided for us, we also thank you for the forty new chairs that you have provided for us. We offer these our sincere prayers in the precious name, in the powerful name, yes, in the preeminent name of Jesus Christ, whose we are and whom we so gladly serve. 为此，我们献上我们最真诚的祷告，我们的感谢，都是奉我们宝贵的主耶稣基督的圣名求的，阿门。And now we will say the Lord's prayer in the language you prefer simultaneously. 我们现在一起用主导文，不管你用什么语言，呃，一起来同声的祷告。Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Forever and ever, Amen. Amen. Okay, we'll have our first Chinese choir perform right now. They will be singing a new day. Next, please join the Shiban Singers. New day. Let me uh, briefly translate for you. Okay, it's uh, it's a title, uh, a new day, a new day, and it's, it's each day I'm a new person, a new man, wearing the new garment made of the blood of Christ. My sins have been forgiven. My heart is full of joy and peace. Uh, leave yesterday behind in the darkness. Meditate. The words of the God, of the Lord, in the morning. We dedicate in body and soul, living for the Lord. Okay, thank you.
thank you very much. Our scripture reading this morning will be from Psalms 1, verses 1 through 3. Also, we'll have 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. Psalms 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he mediates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. Psalms 2, verses 7. I will tell of the decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Psalms 2, verse 12. Kiss the son, lest be he be angry, and you will perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who takes refuge in him. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. And how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. All scripture is breathed out of, by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness.今天的经文是在诗篇你们便在道中灭亡Good morning. So. Uh, it is my privilege to stand here this morning uh, to preach to this uh, joint congregation. I want to apologize to my apologize to my uh, English speaking brothers and sisters uh, because I'm going to preach in Mandarin. Do you want me to translate that? No, you don't want me to translate that. Yeah, translate. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> uh, uh, however, God has provided us a great translator. Oh, I'm not going to uh, translate Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure you will have no uh, problem to understand my sermon. So before I start, let us pray. 
May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Okay, now let me turn, let me switch to Mandarin. Okay. Uh, Peace be to you. Uh, 今天是大年,应该是初八,是不是? Today is the eighth day of the Chinese New Year, and we celebrated the first day of the Chinese New Year last Sunday. Sorry, oh. it's my... my. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 我们过年的时候呢,都有一个习惯, 就是要贴一个很大的福字,对不对?在我们的门上 During Chinese New Year, a lot of Chinese like to put the character Fu, meaning blessing, on their front door And And a lot of times we put it upside down Yeah, because upside down in Chinese sounds just like arrive So putting it upside down means blessings have arrived 其实中国字里,中国字都有它的意义,是不是? Actually, each Chinese character, uh, there's always a meaning behind it. 你看这个福,右边是代表什么? For this character, on the right side, which is the radical, what does it mean? 这个字是代表神. It means God. 所以你看,中国的古人,他在创造这个字的时候,他知道福是从神而来的。so even as the ancient Chinese were inventing this word, blessed, they knew that blessings come from God. So in the New Year, I want to use a person to use a word. So during this Chinese New Year time, um, time of celebration, I want to use the ones who are blessed as my topic today. Because all of us like to be blessed. And the verses I will be referencing are Psalms 1, Verses 1 to 3, Psalm 2, verses 7 and 12. We know that Psalms is a collection of Psalms of the Jewish people. Although not every Psalm was written by King David, but the Jews refer to the Psalms as the Psalms of David. To reflect the covenant that God established with David. The Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. And he was a king that was established to govern over God's people. And to Christians, King David points to the coming Messiah, who is Jesus. Messiah, who is the one who is to come, the true King of kings and Lord of lords. The true, the true Savior, are Jesus Christ. And the entire Bible tells us this. The Psalms are the songs of praise and poems of prayer of the Jewish people to God. And Psalms is organized in a very unique way. It is full of theological meaning. The Psalms were organized into five sections, or so to, uh, or, or so to say, five books. And each of these books of Psalms um, ends with a doxology and thanksgiving. And 
And so in this way, the Jews, Jewish people say that God, through the hands of Moses, gave them five books of law. And through King David, God gave them five books of Psalms. They are like the two hands of a person held together in prayer and worship. Altogether, there are 150 psalms. And so Psalm 1 and 2 can be viewed as an introduction or a prelude. They tell us what the central idea, um, the most important part of all the psalms are. And so Psalm 1 emphasizes God's laws. While the second, second psalm talks about God's anointed one, the Messiah. Through these two psalms, we can clearly see that a person who is truly blessed is a person who delights in the law of the Lord and a person who takes refuge in Him. And these two qualities have also become the central foundation of the Jewish religion. To, so this is the central part, to hope for the coming Messiah by following God's laws. So Psalm 1, which we just read, starts out with blessed is the one. But who is the one who is blessed? And so it says, blessed is, is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. And Psalm 2 also ends with those who are blessed. It says, Blessed are those who take refuge in him, who take refuge in the Messiah. So Psalm 1 and 2 act as brackets that contain the definition of what it is to be blessed. And the song contains how a blessed person, through prayer, through the laws, and through the Messiah, meditate and think about God and how, to re how he responds to God's grace. And this is something that we need to be aware of before we read the Psalms. Let's talk about this word, blessed. In, he, uh, in Greek, it, uh, the word blessed is makarios. Yeah, and in English, it's blessed. And what it is is an internal blessing, and uh, it's not based on circumstance and is not influenced by the material world. Such a blessing has nothing to do with what circumstance you're in or what riches you have. Actually, in the Old Testament, blessed is often used on God. When David praised God, he said, Blessed be the Lord. Being blessed or a blessing is God's fundamental characteristic. 
。人要拥有这个幸福，只有从神那里才能得到。And if you want to be blessed, you can only get it from God. 福这个字在圣经里面最早出现是在创世纪第一章二十九节。Blessed appears first in the Bible in Genesis chapter one twenty nine, verse twenty nine. When God made mankind, God made mankind, male and female, He said, "I will bless them." So, when the Bible talks about blessing, it means that unless people and God have a real relationship, they cannot have real happiness. 与喜乐，因为真正的福是从神所赐的。So when the Bible talks about being blessed, it is to say that a person has a true relationship with God. Without that relationship, there's no way you can truly be blessed or be satisfied or have joy, because true blessing is from God. 另一方面，我们也常常对人说 ，May God bless you. A lot of times we tell people, May God bless you. 愿神赐福给你。May God bless you. 在这里，福的意思是超越我们人所想的那个地上的福气。When we say that, it's actually more than our worldly understanding of being blessed means. 当我们对人说 "May God bless you," 愿神赐福给你的时候，那个意思，那个福是含有认可的意思。When we say God blessed you, that word "bless"、um, Also contains the meaning of approval, of having God's approval. 就是神认可你这个人。It means that God approves of you. 一个被神认可的人是一个真正有福的人。And one who is who is who is approved by God is one who is truly blessed. 所以诗篇三十二篇第一节到第二节说：得赦免其过、遮盖其罪的，这人是有福的。凡心里没有诡诈。耶和华不算为有罪的，这个人是有福的。Just as it is said in Psalm 32, verses 1 through 2, "Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit." 幸福不是一种表表面的感觉，而是一个超自然的满足。Being blessed is not a superficial feeling; it is a supernatural satisfaction. 是当人与神有正确的关系，当人被圣灵改变，具有神所赋予他的本性的时候，才能够体验得到。One can only experience it when one has a correct relationship with God and is changed by the Holy Spirit and and possesses God's given nature. 所以从这里你可以看见，圣经对福的定义和世人的定义是完全的不同。So as you can see here, being blessed is very different in definition according to the world or according to the Bible. 所以我们人所想的幸福，一般都是我的欲望得到满足。A lot of times when we think about being blessed, we think of our desires being satisfied. 不管这个欲望是物质的，或者是精神的。或者是情感的层面 ，and these desires may be material, may be spiritual, may be、um, emotional. 有人说平安就是福 ，and some people say we are blessed if we have peace. 只要灾祸不临到我的身上，那就是福气。As long as nothing bad happens to me, I'm blessed. 弟兄姐妹，我们是不是也是这样子？在祷告之中，我们都求这些地上的福呢？ Brothers and sisters, when we pray for God's blessings, is this what we pray for as well? Actually, all of these are not true blessings. All they are is、um, asking to decrease our suffering. So in this world, what people are after is merely decreasing their suffering. Because in this world,、um, this world really doesn't offer true blessings. 幸福是我们跟神之间一个关系的产物。Because true blessings is a product of our relationship with God. 只有在人恢复与神一个正确的关系以后，才能够真正的享受。那个、Only when we have a correct and restored relationship with God can we 
can we enjoy true blessings? Jesus said to his disciples, My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. And he also said, In this world you will have troubles. How is it possible to achieve or to find true blessings in a fallen world? So in seeking for blessings, a lot of times we are just looking for a decrease in troubles, a decrease in harm. And so during Jesus' time, there was actually a philosophy called Epicureanism that was kind of mentioned in the book of Acts. And according to that philosophy, they felt that to achieve happiness, you must first avoid troubles. For example, when you eat a buffet, you got to warn yourself first to avoid overeating. Because otherwise, you're going to be in trouble with indigestion. So before they did anything, they had to really think about how to avoid things. And so in Psalm 1-1, first it tells us three negatives, three nots, things not to do. And they are not walk in step with the wicked, not stand in the way that sinners take, not sit in the company of mockers. Or else, um, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't do these right. Don't things. do these things. Okay. Otherwise, you'll uh, be in danger. There are three verbs here. Chong, walk, zhan, stand, zuo, and sit. These pretty much contain what we do in a day. When I was in military, when I was in military training in Taiwan, yeah, captain the captain told us that soldiers must walk as the wind. And how do we stand? Stand like a Grandfather clock. Like a grandfather clock. Unmoving. Sit like a bow. 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 This is to say that every moment in your life as a soldier, you ought to act like a soldier. Like a bow. In the same manner, as children of God, we need to set clear boundaries with sin every moment of our lives. I feel that it is very interesting how the writer of the psalm chose the order of these verbs. A lot of times, people fall into sin exactly in the order of these verbs. So, if we want to be blessed, the first thing we need to do is to avoid sin. When the Jews read this psalm, they immediately think of what? They 第三章所記載的那件事情。When Jewish people hear, read this, they will remember what happened in Genesis chapter 3. 神將人放在伊甸園裡。God put man, the, the first man in the, 
in the Garden of Eden. And there were trees and rivers. And he fellowship with God every day. God clearly told Adam, if you listen to me, then you will be blessed and you will have life. But if you disobey my words, then you will surely die. But Adam walked into the evil one's scheme. And he and Eve stood under the tree and regarded it with greed. Finally, they reached for a fruit, grabbed it, sat down, and ate. In this way, they disobeyed God's command and were banished from paradise. So the three knots in um, Psalm 1, the three things that not to do, um, mm-hmm. there are also otherworldly um, philosophies such as the Epicureans who also say such things. To, to, to really avoid doing things that are wrong. Uh, in order to avoid disastrous outcomes. And there's a Chinese saying that basically says to not associate with people of questionable characteristics, otherwise you will become just like them. And so in order to be blessed, one must have um, heavenly wisdom. Don't jump into a fire pit knowing that it's right there. Children of God need to have wisdom and discernment and insight to be able to discern between good and evil. So Paul's um, prayer for the Philippian church is that is this, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth in insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. And so the most important quality that we should have as children of God is to, to have clear boundaries from evil. To refuse sin. But But how can we have the ability to discern between good and bad? How can we receive heavenly wisdom so that we could recognize the devil's schemes? And therefore, Avoid its temptations and traps. A lot of times, these temptations and traps are really hard to spot. Because, the, because Satan also dis, um, uh, often disguises himself as an angel of light. And there's even a bigger issue. And that is that we have sin still left it within us. And it is also always stirring up our desires. So how can we um, correctly do the things, the three knots that we just mentioned? And the answer is in verse 2, which gives us two positives, two things that we need to do. And 
And these two things that we need to do are to delight in the law of the Lord and to meditate on His law day and night. Only God's word can lead us on the right path. So, in Psalms 119, it says, I hide your word in my heart so that, so that I will not offend you. Today, Today, in order to have a spiritual revival, the most important thing is to thirst for God's word and to meditate upon his words day and night and to understand what the Bible says. So that we can be people who know right from wrong and who are pure and blameless. So you can in the New Testament, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17 echo this. It says, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. And it is with this insight that this is what enables us to not walk in step with the wicked, not stand in the way that sinners take, not sit in the company of mockers, but instead um, to love God's law and to meditate upon it day and night. But that's not quite enough. How do you know that you're reading the Bible correctly? And a lot of people neglect that uh, before the verse we just read in verse 15, there's something really important there. And it says that the Holy Scriptures are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Similarly, a lot of people who read um, Psalms forget what it says in Psalm 2. Verse 12, where it says, Blessed are all who take refuge in the Messiah. And the most important purpose of reading the Bible, the Bible is for us to have a true understanding and to truly know this Christ Jesus. We Christians know that the psalmist, uh, the Messiah that the psalmist hoped for has already been fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ. All the scriptures, every book in the Old Testament, including the Psalms, point towards Jesus. So how do you know if you're reading the Bible correctly? By reading the Bible, is it leading you towards Jesus? And through him, are you re reconciled with God? If you, if, if you are such a person, then you are blessed. Only through Jesus Christ can we truly understand God's words. So, dear brothers and sisters, as Christians, as children of God, do we have the same understanding of being blessed 
as gods, as our heavenly fathers. 有时候我们祈求人, Sometimes we ask for worldly peace, but we don't ask for Jesus' peace. We we ask that nothing bad should happen to us, but we don't ask that our sins be forgiven. We ask for all sorts of gifts in this world, but we forget our giver, the giver. A lot of times we think that what we're asking for would be good for us. But but in 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 actuality it is what garbage uh, what Paul considers garbage. Sometimes God gives us what we ask for. And he gives us things in this world. But when that happens, don't be too happy too early. You should should be on the alert. Because one, maybe God didn't give it to you. Or maybe two, God gave it to you temporarily because you have a small faith. And three, the consequences of receiving these things may not necessarily be good. Let us look at Psalm 1 3. 他说, 他要像一棵树, 一个真正幸福的人, 他要像一棵树, 栽在溪水旁, 按时候结果子, so here it talks about a person who is blessed, and this is what the person is like. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. This is the original attention of God when he created mankind. When God created the first man and placed him in the Garden of Eden, that man was like a tree planted in streams of water, which yield, yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does prospers. And that was God's original intention when he created mankind. And so this is what we call a true man. And today, um, God, those who God has chosen and has saved, God wants to reestablish their status and likeness of this true man. God gave them a new heart. A heart that no longer desires worldly things, but desires God. And David was a representative of such a person. Because God said, David is a man after my own heart. And that is to say that David Thirst for God. And so Psalms, it's a conversation between such a true man and God. God speaks to him and he appeals to God. He prays to God, meditates about God. Praises God and give thanks to God. If we don't understand God's definition of being blessed, then it would be very difficult for us to understand or appreciate the Psalms. The Bible tells us that Jesus, uh, that 
sorry, that being blessed is not a feeling. It's not what we have or what we don't have. It's independent of our circumstances and environment. It is not about not having anything bad happen to us. It's not about not having encountered dif encountering difficulties or danger. Blessing is none of these. Being blessed is knowing that you are a child of God and that you take refuge in Him. And a person like this will certainly refuse or not walk into the schemes of the evil one. And will also um, thirst for God's word all the time. Just as many of the writers of these psalms, although they suffered harm, many of them had difficulties or were attacked, sometimes they might have been depressed or sad, yet they knew that they were blessed because they knew God. They knew God and they knew that their lives were in, in God's hands. Just like it is said in Psalm 1 3, that person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever he does prospers. For this they praise and give thanks to God. And in this new year, I hope that we will all put these words, hide them in our hearts, and meditate upon them um, frequently so that they can become our help at all times. Happy New Year. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Eugene Su and Elizabeth Wong. If you're able to, please stand as we will be singing our hymn which is number 331, Blessed Assurance. Thank you. My Savior on a day long. Huang Chen this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior on the day long. Wang Chen Sun Fu Zhu, Wang Si Ang Li. What I do to Li, see Ram and Hoi. 
，时刻仰望主，精心等待。蒙得主恩惠，尽于主爱。你是 my story， 你是 my song，praising my savior all the day long。你是 my story， 你是 my song，praising my savior。Please be seated. Please draw. Before we begin this beautiful blessing ceremony, I would like to thank Lana and Professor Nishi, the、uh, praise team, and the、uh, mass media team. Thank you very much for your contribution this morning. Ah,、uh, 首先我要感谢我们今天服侍的人员啊，包括拉拉、呃，历史，还有啊、呃，上面啊、呃，这个操作这个啊、呃，怎么讲的人啊，音响的人啊，啊，还有所有其他的服侍的同工。A special thank you goes to Brother Eugene. For doing so many things this morning in at least two languages, thank you. You can translate for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I address him as Sensei because not many of you know because his PhD is in nuclear chemistry. Praise God, we have a scientist who is serving God as a preacher. Pass. <laughs> Two parts in the、uh, blessing ceremony: one, the invocation, and of course, two, the dedication. Okay, we ah, today have a this ah ah blessing 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 怎么翻我不太会翻了，啊 ，invocation 怎么翻？啊 ，We present this renovated stained glass window, the one in front to God with the glory, the one at the back, the cross of Jesus Christ, and new chairs as our offering from First Chinese to the glory of God. 我们今天要将这个。新啊，修好的这一个彩色的玻璃窗，还有新的椅子啊，献给神来荣耀他。All things come from you, O God。一切都是从你而来，我们的神。And from your own gifts do we give unto you。我们将你所赐给我们的礼物再献回给你。Almighty God。We thank you that you have put it into the hearts of our ancestors to make offerings for the beautification of this church, and have been pleased to accept your gift. 全天神，我们感谢你，在我们的先人的心中放下这样的一个啊奉献的心啊，来奉献这个教会。啊，美化它，这些都是你所悦纳的礼物。Nearly 144 years ago, our ancestors worked very hard to succeed and to sacrifice. 大约一百四十四年前呢，我们的先人他们努力的工作，他们努力的做啊，还有他们的牺牲。We know that. Because we ourselves now undergo the same hardships and sacrifices today, coping with long working hours, discrimination, high rents, and crowded accommodation, and language issues. We know these things because we ourselves are also facing the same difficulties and sacrifices. 啊、uh, ，我们要
工作很多的小时，面对歧视或者是高的很高的这个租金等等，还有不同的语言。We are surely moved by the fact that our ancestors' frugality, generosity, and sacrifices have provided strong reserves to pay for these expensive repairs and new chairs. 我们实在是非常感动，就是我们先人他们的节俭，他们的啊、呃，他们的 generosity， 他们的啊慷慨，还有他们的牺牲啊、呃，让我们有足够的基金来负担这些高额的费用。And that is why we are inspired to do likewise. 他们这样做也激励了我们做同样的事情。We are challenged to follow our ancestors' footprints. We say, if if they can do it, by jolly, so can we, so must we. 我们也被这样的一个挑战，就是要要跟随他们的脚步。我们这样说。他们能够做到，我们更能够做到，并且是用欢喜的心来做。Be with us now and bless us as we dedicate this renovated stained glass window in front to God be the glory, and at the back, the cross of Jesus Christ and new chairs. To your praise, to your glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 现在我们求你与我们同在，在我们奉献啊、呃、这些啊、呃、礼物的时候，奉献这一个彩色的窗子，还有新的椅子的时候，我们能够归荣耀与我们的神。And we come to the dedication. I quote, of course, from Isaiah 54 verse 12: "I will make your windows of gems and all your borders of pleasant stones." Look upon the rainbow, and praise the one who made it. How beautiful it is in its brightness. 在奉献的时候，首先我要引用以赛亚书五十四章十二节说：“以红色的玉照你的门窗，以宝石来照你四围的边界。”我们要抬头看那个彩虹。赞美那位创造他的神。透过这个阳光，我们看到那是何等的美丽。Let us pray, O Lord God, the whole world is filled with the radiance of your glory. 我们要这样祷告，神啊，全地充满着你的荣耀。Our ancestors. Gave much to build this sanctuary to your glory. We now follow our ancestors' sacrifices by repairing, replacing, and restoring its physical presence as well as its spiritual presence. Our ancestors built this sanctuary to your glory. We now follow our ancestors' s a c r i 我们现在也跟随他们的脚步，要奉献我们的牺牲，我们能够修理，能够看守，能够恢复他在最好的一个状态，不管是内在还是外在。Accept our offering of this renovated stained glass window to God be the glory, the cross of Jesus Christ, and new chairs. Which we now dedicate to you for the adornment of this place and the inspiration of your people. 求你悦纳我们奉献在你面前的这个彩色的窗子，还有新的椅子，都是为了来装饰你的家。Grant that as the light shines through its many colors and the comfort from the new chairs. So our lives may show forth the beauty of your manifold gifts of grace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
让阳光穿过这些彩色的窗子，还有这些能够让我们舒适的椅子，我们的生命被建造，能够显明你各样恩赐的美善。奉主耶稣基督的名，阿门。And now I invite the vice chair Philip Huang to do the thank yous. 我们现在请我们的副主席啊 Philip 来啊做这个事。Thank you, pastors. Okay, the church board would like to extend our sincere gratitude to a father and a son team and their committee that recognized the need to take on this extensive repair and renovation project. Uh, 教会的执事会要啊，借着这个机会。来感谢啊，这个父子父子党啊，这个呃、啊，他们的工作辛劳，来完成这一个呃、啊、彩色窗户的维修的工作。First, we're going to thank our brother Lin Zin. He, 我们我们要感谢我们的弟兄啊 ，Lin Zin. He was a the board chairperson. During this period, for his leadership and passion in impressing upon us the responsibility of maintaining and preserving our facility. He in the board meeting, he made a lot of things and also set up a foundation. Thank you, Brother Lindsay. <laughs> Second. We'd like to acknowledge Chad Zin. Please come forward. Who prepared the proposal? Who prepared the proposal to the James Erickson Studio and submitted? The grant application to the historic preservation grant from the Historical Hawaiian Foundation for fifty-five thousand dollars. He has helped us from this grant to the Historical Hawaiian Foundation for fifty-five thousand dollars. He has helped us from this grant to the Historical Hawaiian Foundation for fifty-five thousand dollars. He has helped us from this grant to the Historical Hawaiian Foundation for fifty-five thousand Through the sales of greeting cards to raising funds to cover the additional cost of repairs. He also has other ways to get the money we need. Your architectural degree, background, knowledge, qualifications, experience, and creativity has benefited the First Chinese Church of Christ in Hawaii, and God has blessed you with gifts and talents to serve Him. Thank you, Brother Chad. Your architectural degree also helped in this project. It was very successful. Please come forward. Getting old. In December of 2020, the first Chinese Church of Christ in Hawaii was awarded a historic preservation grant from the Freeman Foundation and the Historic Hawaii Foundation. Through the grant and generous donations from the congregation, the preservation and restoration work on our two stained glass windows was completed in July 2022. In your pamphlet, it describes the architect Hart Wood's design, design inspiration and intent for these stained glass windows. The south window in the balcony depicts an Nestorian cross rising from the lotus flower and flanked by auspicious clouds. Wood based this design on a carving from the Nestorian Stele monument erected in 781 AD in China. The Stele chronicles the arrival of Christian missionaries in China in the seventh century. The north window in the choir loft alludes to eternal life in its circular form with the principal motif of the Chinese lotus. 
with references to symbols of immortality, rebirth, and good fortune. The window represents the light of God shining in on every service. The stained glass window project was the first major renovation of the windows in the sanctuary's 94 years. With issues of bowing, cracked stained glass, corrosion of metal frames, and separation between the glass and supports, addressing the situation in a timely manner was paramount before any more damage or failure occurred. It was only through the expertise, dedication, and tireless work of Mr. James Erickson and Mr. James Harvey that we are able to preserve the design intent, character, and symbolism of these stained glass windows for future generations of the church and community. We are honored that James Erickson and James Harvey are joining us today and invite them to come up to be recognized. Okay,刚才Chad就是介绍了一下 While the project has been complex and costly, First Chinese sought the most qualified designer and contractor to execute the restoration in hopes that the windows would last another 90 years. The project has instilled a renewed sense of pride in our congregation's 144 years of history, a greater appreciation for the unique design of our sanctuary, and a commitment to historically preserving it. We are so grateful to you, James and James, for your hard work and patience. From working through the pandemic, health issues, unforeseen conditions, and a variety of challenges, you rose to the occasion and we have been blessed by your artistry, your craftsmanship, and skill to restore these windows. A Chinese saying goes, when you drink water, remember its source. So each time we look at and admire these windows, we will remember you and appreciate your efforts in bringing them back to life. On behalf of the congregation, we'd like to thank you and present to you with these replicas of the, the stained glass window. Let's do our call to offering. Today, as you present your offering, I invite you to do so believing that great things are possible for those who see great human need as a call to advance the love and compassion of the Church of Jesus Christ. Let us be that kind of church as our forebears have taught us. Please drop your donations in the two donation boxes located in the last of your last two pews closest to the foyer. 
今天当您奉献的时候呢，相信您是看到帮助别人的需要，是将耶稣基督的爱传播出去的最好的途径。让我们像我们的先祖教导我们的那样，成为一个乐意奉献的教会。请您将您的奉献呢放在后面大堂后面进口处的奉献箱内。Let us all come together as we sing, shout to the Lord for our offertory. Verses and chorus are in English and followed by Mandarin. 在这个奉献的时刻，让我们一起来到主的面前，献上，向主欢呼。主歌、副歌都是先唱英文，再唱中文。
Let's please bow our heads in prayer. Let us present our acts of service as an offering to our God. Through the blessing of the stained glass windows and new chairs, we feel challenged to continue to proclaim the good news. Strengthen us to be your agents in our time and age.我们算什么竟能如此乐意奉献因为万物都从你而来我们把从你而得的献给你今天是特别感恩的日子感恩主先留下的产业得以成绩感恩主先留给我们捐得乐意的心为此我们把当纳的奉献连同我们深深的感
Have you been considering getting baptized or joining First Chinese? Pastor Chu Lakiao will be starting a baptism membership class during Lent, February 19, 2023 to March 19, 2023 for five Sundays. The baptism membership class will start at 9 a.m. ending at 9.45 a.m. in the conference room. If you're interested, please call or email the office at office at firstchinese.org. Next week, the first Sunday of each month, we're inviting everyone to bring a non-perishable food for the Kaumakapili Church Food Bank collection. Additionally, on the first Sunday of each month, we have a special love offering collection to help those persons affiliated with FCCC who have lost a job, lost a loved one, or are experiencing personal hardship. Lastly, everyone is invited to join a love feast every first Sunday of the month at 11.30 a.m. in the gym. It's a time for our members to sit down together, enjoy lunch, and fellowship with one another. Next, unclaimed offering envelope boxes can be found on the Eva Lanai. Steve Ling, an old colleague of Pastor Chulak, will be visiting Hawaii February 3rd through the 6th, 2023. Pastor Chulak has taken the opportunity to invite him to be our guest preacher at our February 5th, 2023 Holy Communion Sunday. Steve is a retired college professor a China watcher, visiting professor in China for six years. He's a distinguished author of 11 books and an accomplished pianist. Lastly, a Chinese Christian Cemetery Association membership meeting will be held on Sunday, February 12th from 10 a.m. to 12 noon at FCC Founders Hall Building, room 207. Friendly reminder, to please bring your original ownership of Pawa or Makiki Chinese Christian Cemetery Plot Certificate to attend the meeting. Hong 第一班是约翰福音的茶经好再一次呢就是在讲一下我们今天的全体的会员大会是在我们崇拜结束后立即开始那么今天的会员大会呢是有两个内容第一个呢是要讨论通过聘请Pastor Jonathan Lilly为英文堂牧师的这样的一个决定要表决通过第二个呢是要批准教会的一条修正案将教会会员的最低年龄呢从十二岁呢提高到 那么有这两个内容要表决通过。好，我们今天的报告就到此。Let's sing together a closing song, Amazing Grace. My chains are gone. We will begin with English, followed by Mandarin, and then, then in English. Please stand if you're able in spirit and body. 在结束的时候，让我们一起来唱《奇异恩典》，不再有捆绑。我们也是先唱英文，再唱中文，然后用英文结束。
now receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make you his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. 愿耶和华似乎给你保护你愿耶和华使他的脸光照你赐恩给你愿耶和华向你扬脸赐你平安 Amen We are one.